Video diary, 9.27 a.m. on Thursday. Currently staked out at a liquor store. <laughs> you might be wondering why we're at a liquor store at 9.30 in the morning. We've been doing all kinds of Facebook marketplace deals. <coughs> Matter of fact, we funded our entire Christmas gift purchasing for everybody, including each other, by selling stuff. Oh, you didn't give me anything. <laughs> by selling stuff that we already owned on Facebook marketplace, mainly the big kickers that contributed the most were two camera lenses from our photography days. So we're selling a, an 80 pound sandbag to somebody and then we got all kinds of things to go do. One of the things that we love about our dog, Buttons, is she's just so playful and she always wants to be doing something. We say that her saying is that an idle mind is the devil's playground. So as soon as she comes into the office, it's time to chew. All right, it's a little before one o'clock. It's time to get ready to train. I'll show you my little hack that I do to have a pre-workout. The main benefit in a pre-workout for me is the caffeine. The only other supplement I take other than caffeine is creatine. So instead of spending two, three dollars on C4 or a Bang Energy drink or anything like that, I'm just gonna fill my my uh, fancy Stanley up with water. And then you can just get this at the grocery store. This is a water flavoring that actually has caffeine in it. This one says that it has 60 milligrams of caffeine in a serving, and it says that a serving is 2.5 milliliters. Luckily, I have a food scale, so all I have to do, pop my bottle onto my food scale, turn it on, switch it over to milliliters, and I can weigh out my portion right here. I'm gonna have five milliliters because I want about 120 milligrams of caffeine. That should be plenty. There you have it. That probably costs like less than a dollar. thing on the menu today was barbell strict press. Unfortunately, dealing with a bit of a shoulder injury right now, any kind of overhead pressing movement is really hurting to do it, and then it hurts even worse the next day. So, what are we gonna do, not train? I don't think so. Here's my strategy. I'm gonna think about what's the next closest exercise I can do that kind of mimics the overhead press, and test it and see how it feels. So in my case, that means putting the bench on this high incline right here i've got it up on a 24 inch box and i found a weight that i can do at that angle that doesn't cause my shoulder pain you can use the same technique to get around just about any injury think about what's the closest movement pattern that mimics what you're trying to do that hurts try that instead adjust the load till you find a point with no pain let your body heal that's how you can keep training on injuries
So when I wasn't recording a second ago, you just said you weren't feeling motivated. So what's the deal? <laughs> you Are you saying that you're not always motivated to work out? <laughs> nope. I think that's a common misconception around people that you might think like, you know, they're in shape and they do all the things, but even if somebody is in shape, that doesn't mean every single day that they have to work out or they're supposed to work out, that they are motivated. Sometimes the workouts kind of stink, but sometimes you just gotta do them anyway, and that's perfectly fine. Here's a little unsolicited um, tip on an app you can use to time different things of your workout. Found it from one of my clients. It's called Smart Wad Timer. So I'm about to do an every minute on the minute workout back and forth. So there is an EMOM timer in there. You can do AMRAPs. You can just start it for time. It's got Tabata. It's free. I like it. Smart Wad Timer. Happy Friday, friend. Friday mornings for us are all about hunkering down and hammering our way at our custom training clients' workouts, trying to get them all loaded up in True Coach for them for the next week. So we come over here to the office or we go to a coffee shop and we just buckle down and hammer through it till it's done. Especially today, because we have we're gonna go help a friend up in Austin with something. Maybe go to a coffee shop up there too. But I was trying to do some work this morning and they're like, these workouts aren't saving. What's going on? And I was about to send a message to True Coach, and Blakely just saw at the top of the page it says that they know they're having a problem saving workouts. So we'll just adapt and do something else this morning, work on something else. You know, when we first started Digital Barbell, we uh, pretty much worked seven days a week. And a lot of that had to do with, we were living in Idaho and didn't know anybody and it was the pandemic and we just worked, 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 worked. And even after we moved here to Texas, we weren't great about, you know, scheduling our week so that we actually had some time off on the weekends to decompress and be normal people and do stuff. You having fun down there, Buttons? But anyway, we've streamlined things a lot. Blakely came up with a really good uh, system to get our programming done earlier in the week so we're not sitting around doing it on the weekends and it's just been a big uh, game changer for us personally so we'll see what happens with true coach but we'll work on some other stuff in the meantime get ready to see some driving One thing I've noticed about this truck though is you have to be careful because it rocks back. It rocks back when you put it in park. Significantly. <laughs> All right. Take it, guys. Nice. 
I asked for a pot of things. I came back. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> What do we got? The digital barbell PR blend <laughs> is finally in. What does it say on there? PR blend, lift heavy, be nice. Contains robust notes of strength and muscle gains. Side effects may include increased performance, confidence, and flexing used daily for maximum effectiveness. <laughs> Love it. Can I ask what you're doing? I just discovered like that you could like print something off of the internet to color. Oh yeah. Good Look, point. I got Rocky. Wow, he looks beat up. Are you making your own coloring books now? <laughs> Next level. 